In September 2023, the Las Vegas sphere emerged onto the entertainment scene, instantly raising the bar for immersive experiences. Stepping inside, visitors are transported to a new realm of entertainment surrounded by a colossal ceiling screen, haptic seats, and a cutting-edge sound system that personalizes audio tracks for each seat. The sphere even goes as far as simulating wind and scents, aiming to fully immerse its audience in the cinematic experience. The creation of this technological marvel was no small feat, as evidenced by its staggering $2.3 billion price tag. Behind the scenes, the Madison Square Garden Company spearheaded the project, drawing on their extensive experience in building iconic entertainment venues like Radio City Music Hall and Madison Square Garden. With the goal of revolutionizing live entertainment, MSG assembled a team of experts from various industries, pooling their talents to bring the sphere to life. Five years of meticulous planning and construction culminated in the grand opening of the sphere, instantly capturing the attention of the world with its awe-inspiring exterior, including the Exosphere, the largest screen ever created. Crafted by Sako, renowned for their breathtaking light shows and screens, the Exosphere dwarfs its indoor counterpart, standing three and a half times larger. Despite its monumental size, the Exosphere operates on the same principle as ordinary screens. Composed of countless pixels, each comprising three subpixels emitting red, green, and blue light. Through precise manipulation of these subpixels, the Exosphere produces a vast spectrum of colors, seamlessly blending individual pixels to create a mesmerizing visual experience for spectators. The Exosphere operates on a grand scale, boasting an impressive array of 1.2 million individual lights, each roughly the size of a hockey puck. Unlike conventional screens, these lights are composed of clusters containing 48 separate LEDs, resembling pixels on a TV, but on a much larger scale. Despite their seemingly spaced out arrangement, when viewed from a distance, the lights seamlessly blend together, forming a stunning, sharp image. Moving inside the sphere, visitors are greeted by the atrium, where cutting-edge audio and visual technology awaits. Among the highlights is the hyper wall, which creates mesmerizing three-dimensional illusions through a clever optical trick. Similar to handheld fans with lights on their blades, the wall utilizes hundreds of rotors, each equipped with LEDs, spinning at a rapid 670 RPM. This speed, faster than the human eye can perceive, allows for the display of dynamic sequences that captivate viewers. But the innovation doesn't stop there. Scatter it throw, the atrium are five interactive robots, ready to engage visitors in conversation and provide a glimpse into the future of interactive entertainment. Meet Aura, one of the most cutting-edge humanoid robots ever created. Developed over the course of 15 years by the English company Engineered Arts, Aura seamlessly blends advanced robotics with state-of-the-art machine learning capabilities. While Aura doesn't roam around like some robots, its upper body articulates fluidly as it engages with visitors, answering questions and delivering presentations on the groundbreaking technology powering the sphere. With Aura's presence, Visitors get a glimpse into the future of human-robot interaction and the potential for robots to enhance the entertainment experience. Engineers describe Aura as artificially intelligent, emphasizing its role as an interactive entity rather than an independent artificial intelligence. Designed to accommodate a wide range of software, Aura integrates sophisticated programs such as ChatGPT for natural language processing, Whisper for voice recognition, and Google's Media Pipe for facial recognition. This amalgamation of software enables Aura to engage in conversations with visitors, learn from their interactions, and continually enhance its conversational abilities, even injecting some humor into the mix. Following their encounter with Aura, visitors proceed to the theater, where the sphere's main attraction awaits. Dominating the space, the main screen stretches roughly 20 times larger than the most expansive IMAX cinemas, curving over and around the audience. Comprising tiles adorned with LEDs, the screen is remarkably flexible, conforming to the sphere's curvature. Its thinness allows sound to permeate through, enhancing the auditory experience. Despite its monumental size, 
the screen boasts an astonishing 256,000 pixels, earning it the title of the highest resolution screen in the world. However, due to its vast surface area, spanning over 160,000 square feet, or approximately 14,800 square meters, the pixel density is relatively low, averaging around 3.33 pixels per inch. Contrary to expectations, this lower pixel density does not compromise image quality. Rather, it ensures a seamless viewing experience across the expansive screen. For comparison, the latest iPhone boasts an impressive bar 160 pixels per inch, while a larger TV typically ranges from 40 to 80 pixels per inch. Despite this discrepancy, the Sphere's screen maintains exceptional visual quality, largely due to the principle of optimum viewing distance. Optimum viewing distance refers to the ideal distance between a screen and its audience. From the theater seats, the screen appears crystal clear, but approaching it too closely would reveal individual pixels disrupting the image. This phenomenon can be replicated at home by holding your phone close to a screen and zooming in, revealing the red, green, and blue subpixels that compose each pixel. This occurs because you're now below the optimum viewing distance. When designing the screen, Sacco had to consider these factors carefully. Additionally, they faced the challenge of producing content for a wraparound display, unlike traditional flat rectangular screens. To overcome this obstacle, MSG established Sphere Studios, dedicated to creating content specifically tailored for the Sphere. They even constructed a quarter-sized replica, dubbed the Big Dome in California for editing purposes, as conventional screens couldn't accurately depict how content would appear in the sphere. Initially, filmmakers attempted to stitch footage from 11 separate cameras together in post-production, but the process proved overly complex. Faced with this challenge, Sphere Studios opted to develop their own solution, leading to the creation of what many consider to be the pinnacle of video cameras, the Big Sky Camera System. This innovative system revolutionized filming for the sphere, ensuring unparalleled visual quality and immersive experiences for audiences. The Big Sky Camera System is truly a marvel of modern filmmaking technology, boasting a staggering 316 megapixels and the ability to capture footage in stunning 18K resolution at an impressive 120 frames per second. This results in incredibly high quality, smooth footage albeit with the drawback of each second of film, consuming a hefty 60 gig guide of data. Operating the Big Sky camera system is no small task. It requires a team of 12 individuals to handle its operation. Unlike its predecessor with 11 separate cameras, the Big Sky camera features a single massive lens measuring one foot across and resembling a fisheye, providing a expansive 165 degree field of view to cover the entire screen within the sphere, with some additional room for overshoot and stabilization of the footage. However, the lens is just one component of the camera. A sensor is also crucial for capturing images. The sensor employed in the Big Sky camera is the largest in commercial cinema, developed in partnership with ST Microelectronics. Working in tandem with the lens, the sensor captures incoming light rays breaks them down into individual pixels and converts them into electrical signals, which are then processed to produce a digital image. In a departure from conventional rectangular sensors, the Big Sky camera utilizes an almost squared sensor to accommodate the sphere's enormous screen, ensuring optimal image conversion. The groundbreaking technology of the Big Sky camera has led to the filing of 10 patents by Sphere Studios, underlining its revolutionary impact on the industry. Since viewing these images on a normal screen fails to do justice to their quality and scale, the crew utilizes VR headsets during filming to ensure they capture the perfect angle for the immersive experience within the Sphere. While the Big Sky camera system represents a pinnacle of visual technology within the Sphere, equally impressive is the sound system designed to complement the immersive experience. Engineered by German specialists Holoplot, the Sphere boasts one of the most advanced audio systems worldwide. Concealed behind the wraparound screen 
are a staggering 167,000 speakers, equating to an astounding 8.4 speakers per person in the audience. The thinness of the LED screens was crucial to allow sound to pass through without distortion, a feat achieved through close collaboration between Holoplot and screen designer Seiko, a concept known as audio transparency. What sets this sound system apart is its ability to deliver targeted audio to every seat in the theater, offering customized sound experiences for different sections of the audience. This is made possible through precise control of sound waves and interference patterns. Consider a sound wave. Aligning the peaks of two waves amplifies the sound. Constructive interference. While aligning peaks with troughs cancels it out. Destructive interference. Noise-canceling headphones utilize these interference patterns. When emitted from a speaker, sound waves spread in all directions, leading to interference and differences in sound levels across space. Holoplot speakers perform intricate calculations to predict how each sound wave will interfere with others, adjusting their emission in real time to coordinate interference patterns and control the distribution of sound throughout the room. This sophisticated technology ensures that each individual in the audience receives optimal audio quality, adding another layer of immersion to the overall experience within the sphere. Like a traditional speaker emitting sound in all directions, a light bulb disperses light, whereas a laser beam focuses its light into a concentrated beam. Similarly, Holoplot speakers produce a focused beam of sound, allowing the sphere to selectively transmit audio tracks to different sections of the audience, offering diverse language options, soundtracks, and experiences throughout the theater. This advanced sound system, often described as headset sound without the headset, represents a pinnacle of audio engineering, rivaling some of the most sophisticated sound systems globally. In addition to the exceptional sound quality, the Sphere's seats contribute to the immersive experience. With 10,000 seats equipped with haptic technology, they vibrate at specific frequencies, corresponding to the visuals and audio, enhancing the audience's sensory engagement. Furthermore, wind machines simulate gentle breezes to powerful gusts, along with scents and fog, though the team ensures they don't overwhelm the senses. Now, you might be wondering how the Sphere integrates all these elements seamlessly. Currently, it hosts two types of shows, live performances featuring artists like U2 and Fish, who deliver multimedia spectacles that dazzle the senses, with perfect audio delivery and visually stunning effects, transforming the Sphere's environment from a massive concrete silo to a vast desert landscape. The second type is the Sphere Immersive Experience, where guests engage with the Aura robots in the atrium before immersing themselves in the film Postcard from Earth in the theater. These experiences exemplify the Sphere's commitment to pushing the boundaries of entertainment and technology, offering audiences unforgettable journeys into the realms of sight, sound, and sensation. Darren Aronofsky's groundbreaking film, shot on the Big Sky system, marks the beginning of a new era in cinematic storytelling within the sphere. However, ticket prices ranging from $79 to over $300 have sparked debates about whether the experience justifies the cost. While other films are in the works, production time is a significant factor, and sports events like UFC 306 are also on the horizon, promising an immersive spectacle for attendees. Looking ahead, Plans for additional spheres are underway, with London once a prime candidate, until concerns about light pollution led to the project's abandonment. Nevertheless, Abu Dhabi, South Korea, and Saudi Arabia have expressed interest in hosting their own spheres, though nothing is certain at this stage. In an ambitious move, Sphere Studios aims to transport the Big Sky system to the International Space Station offering viewers a breathtaking glimpse of space exploration in real dimensions. For those considering a visit to the sphere, the question of whether it's worth it remains open. Some may find the immersive experiences and cutting edge technology worth the investment, while others may hesitate due to the steep ticket prices. Whether you've visited or aspire to, share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and as always, we look forward to seeing you in the next one.